It's a pretty cool wheel horse here, a B80. It's got a plow, eight horse Kohler. Very intriguing to me, but there's no price on it. And it's got another one just like it next to it here. It's kind of cool. An extra hood. Another eight horse Kohler. Rotted out rear discharge deck. It's pretty cool. Yeah. I in a flea market had a couple wheel horses on a trailer for sale and I worked out a deal to get one. Check it out. The B80 wheel horse here with a snow plow, which I scored for a hundred bucks. Um, it's pretty complete. Got an eight horse Kohler. It's got a broken fin on the flywheel, but other than that, it's all complete. It's got a flat tire in the back, but um, it's here. I thought it was pretty cool. It says it's from Wyndham, Connecticut. It's pretty cool. Neat stuff, huh? Got it for a hundred bucks. Well, guys, it's been uh, about I don't know, two and a half weeks since I got that Wheel Horse B80. I took the day off from work today. Figured I would check it out. Let's look at it together. All right, so here it is, just as it rolled off the trailer on the way back from the camera show. And let's see, there's the Commando 8 over there next to it. Anyways, the back tire is flat. This front tire looks pretty new. It still has like a blue paint on the tire. Um, the other back tire is holding air. But I figured we'd bring the jump box over here and see if we could try to spin it over and maybe see if we got any spark. Um, yeah, here's the spark tester. I don't know if any of the wiring works or anything like that but let's see in it i checked the oil off camera here but um yeah fall showed up it's only 50 degrees out right now and it's really windy um this gas tank here has nothing in it it's bone dry so that's cool hopefully with any luck it was stored with no gas in it and it's not all full of junk. I still don't know why the blower housing was off of it. I mean, got good threads in that hole. Good threads there. Looks like good threads on all four holes. So that's promising. A lot of time these things strip out and get uh, stuck in the aluminum, whatever. Uh, let's see. The stupid coil wire is kind of gimp looking, but I'm sure it will work. Let's see, let's plug that in there. It's very loose feeling. That's why I'm saying it's gimp. Uh, all right, here's our wire. So let's see, this is the ground because it's going to the frame. So let's hook up a ground to that. And here's our hot wire over here. See if I can get that over there without hitting the frame or something. I think we're good. And let me see if I can plug this spark tester into the plug wire here. All right, we got that in there. Now let's look over here. We got a uh, neut neutral, okay. Um, let's see, what do we got here? Headlight switch, oh, that even wor works, that's funny. What the heck is this key? Dude, what is this? What does it say? China. Who the heck put that key in there? Looks like a regular old uh, index switch to me. Let me see here. I got one of those keys on my keychain in my pocket. Let's see. There we go. It says John Deere on it, but whatever. There we go. Cool. It works now. Let's put some power to the jump box, see if it cranks. Dude, that sounds awesome. Oh my gosh, I don't see any spark though. Let's look at that. Yeah, we got no spark. All right, maybe we gotta clean the points here. 
Oh, that's cool. They even put an oil drain on the engine. That's high class. All right, the points are over on the other side. Let me go get some tools. I'll we'll be right back. All right, let's see here. I got my tools. I got this cool little free screwdriver. It's a Stanley. Some guy at Zagri Farm had a bunch of crap he couldn't sell at the summer show. And he uh, put it in a big pile and said, if anyone wants it, you can get it. So anyways, this is a nice little Stanley made in USA from back in the day before they got bought by Ewalt Black & Decker. Okay. So we got two screws to take out here. I can already see that there's no gasket behind this points cover, I don't believe. So that's usually the kiss of death to the points. So let me see if we can get those two screws out and we'll check out the points. Right, I got them out. It's pretty easy access, but the muffler is right in the way. So let's see. Oh yeah, those suckers are dirty. And as, oh, there is a gasket on there. It's just all bent out of shape. And the bottom part wasn't actually in the notch there. Let's see these points. Oh, dude, they were stuck together, like totally shot. I'm not really, look, look at all the play in this thing. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. It probably is a good candidate for a new set of points, but for now, we're gonna clean it up and just see if we can get some spark out of it. But these things are totally worn out where they go on the shaft down here. They're all loose and have tons of play in it. I'm not really a fan of that. Well, let me see if I can clean them up. I've been using a wire brush a lot on points lately and uh, it helps get around the outside of them because you get crusty junk that's on the exterior also. I mean, that thing looks so much better already. Now, I got my little points file over here also. So, let's try that thing. And then we'll use some sandpaper, some fine grit sandpaper. So, let me see if I can do this one-handed here. And then, yeah, there's just like, you know, the points are supposed to be spring loaded. There's about no spring in these points right now. These things are shot. But anyways, I think they're, I think they're replacement aftermarket garbage. I believe I have some OEM points laying around, but we'll just see if we can get some spark out of it and what happens before we put a $20 set of points in this thing. All right, let me do a little more off camera and we'll be back. All right, I got them cleaned up pretty good. I used the file and used a piece of 400 grit sandpaper. But again, I don't like how these have so much um, play in them. Anyways, I spun over the flywheel with my hand to make sure they're opening and closing and they are. So let's see if we got any spark now. All right, let's see what we got. Now. and they're barely even opening and closing. Let's see. The spring is so worn out that they're not ever closing. They're stuck open. Let's see if I got some other points. Hold on, I think I got some in my toolbox here. Let's see, what's this? Are these garbage too? Let me see. Oh, they say crawler on them. I don't remember what the deal is with this one. Look like they're better it's got a decent spring in there maybe we'll throw this thing on i don't even know what the heck this is off of or how it got in my toolbox but i think these ones are they're pretty worn but let's try it we'll see what happens so all we gotta do here is take this wire off take off these two screws and uh our points will be off so I'll do that off cam. All right, let's compare these points here. So the one on the top is the one that I just took out, which again, like something is screwed with this part here. It doesn't want to spring shut. See, I let go of it and it's nowhere near being shut. It should snap right back. 
and down here where it pivots there's like this big mushroom shaped thing on there and it's got a lot of play in it and stuff it's just garbage um there's no name on here like down in the middle here it should say crawler here's the oem ones see on the bottom it says crawler um if i do that look it snaps back Let's hear that snap that spring is really good snaps right back so there's certain things in tractors that you can't go china on um kohler points is number one on that list for me you could have a china condenser you could have china other crap but not the points and i don't know why these are in that toolbox but they kind of look like they're in good shape so we're gonna throw them on and see what happens all right i turn the flywheel until they're in the open position there's barely any gap. So let me go get a feeler gauge and we'll widen that gap up. All right, so I got a gap to 020. And I think I remember why these points were in here. For some reason in the arm here, there's a lot of play. It goes side to side. And it's like it's sliding on the shaft like there should be some kind of little bushing in there or spacer so that it can't slide. But I don't know, let's see what happens. If I can reach the key. Let's verify that they're shutting all the way. Yep. Still no spark. Yeah. Can you see that? There's a big arc out of there and the points are sideways. They're not even near touching. Yeah, let's get different points. Balls. I got an idea. I wonder if I can switch the spring from the good points to the crappy points and not have to put a new pair in. Let's try it. Right, it was a good idea on paper, but here's the problem. The spring actually goes all the way down under through the points and back up to right there. So you can't just pop the spring out because it's literally connected to the point electrode or whatever you want to call it up there. I don't know if you can put a screwdriver in there and pop it out of the hole. I'll try right, let's that. Let's take a trip to the parts department and see what we got. Okay, somewhere in here, I think I have some points. Um, I think I got a draw in this cabinet here that has points in it somewhere. Uh, let me see. Let's see what we got here. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Uh, I got spark plugs. Uh, ooh, what do we got down here? Carb, polar carb parts, gaskets and stuff. Ay, ay, ay. Uh, half these drawers are empty. I never, never put anything in this thing yet. Grinder stuff. What do we got in here? Shipper shaft parts, spark plugs. Briggs and scrap them parts. Yikes, I gotta find All it. Right. I found them. OEM points. Not even taken out of the bag yet.